And I noticed it right away because it's something I've heard mentioned. I don't think it's harmful to mention it because he's just talking about the what, not the how. Yeah. And I exactly. think your point is that the how is what goes in the metrics definition or the... That's what I think. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree with that. Yeah. The use cases are all about the how. Okay. And then the, the other thing that I find it um, something to discuss is whether this is one use case or in fact two use cases. Because if you look at it, in fact, he's uh, having two items, which to me seem uh, rather different. And I think each of those could be uh, a use case by itself. I agree. I think they they could be. They, they're they're both more generally. They're they're most more generally about how do I know what to do with different people, commit yeah. rights versus paying attention to a bug reporter. They're similar, but they're not the same. Yeah. Use case. Exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah. And uh, yes, just thinking when I when I wrote this, uh, I was thinking in which uh, focus area the metrics that can be derived for this could be. And uh, I really don't know. I don't know if maybe we, at some point, we, we need to decide to add more focus areas. Because this one could be in community, but it's not exactly, you know, it's, it's like, like too much individual for being, I don't know. I, what would be the other, what would be the other uh, focus area? That... I don't know. What I mean is, um, it, doesn't mean to, that it doesn't seem to me that it fits well in one of the current focus areas. So uh, what do you it think? Doesn't, yeah, I think from his description, you're right. It doesn't fit well in, into, for example, the community development use uh, focus. Yeah, because for instance, it could be in code development because in the end you are trying to find out somebody who is going to be a committer. But in fact, you want to, to look at maybe different data sources because for, for finding out somebody who wants to give uh, commit rights, Maybe you want somebody who is, I don't know, responsive in mailing lists, for instance, because you mm -hmm. want somebody engaged with the community and so on. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe, the, maybe the best one could be community growth in the sense that you are finding out people who are growing with the community or something like that. But, you know, it's... It, is, know. it is resonant of things that I've heard community managers say about how they gauge cont contributions to their community, that they are looking at these kinds of... Uh, details so that it is I mean I think from a community manager perspective the things that he's asking for would fit under community growth but I I can see them I definitely see the point they're making that it doesn't it doesn't tidally fit under community growth it's in any just, case we also could have use cases that fit in two or more uh, focus areas because you know sure. the, the kind of things that I find interesting may, may, may be, come behind the different areas so it's mm -hmm. not really a problem so we don't really need to open a new uh, focus area just because of this yeah so let's and see we, how it works and yeah and we've asked him for uh, his thoughts we've asked him to make some changes anyway so he's got some time yeah that's fine Okay, anything else with respect to this pull request? Maybe well, Matt? It's, a, it's an issue, you mean? Uh, 48, I mean. Uh, yes, I don't have anything else for that. Okay, Kevin, Matt, maybe you have some comment or? I do not. Okay. Okay, then uh, yeah, with respect to the other issues, uh, for number uh, 50, I see that you did uh, the, the, the... Yeah, I was working, I'm working on, yeah, I'm working on reformatting the use case. Um, I have a lot of text, but I didn't put it into our format, so I will add that text before our next meeting. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So that, that, that would mean that we would be uh, working on three different use cases. Mm -hmm. And I'm still confident that the Uber people provide a fourth one, let's see, because I'm, I'm pinging them, but they seem to be busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, um, with respect to, let's see. Uh, we have three open pull requests. Yeah. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm still in the issues. Okay. And uh, with respect, just to mention it, with respect to the number 33, we moved to the pull request state as we decided uh, last meeting. Mm -hmm. So, it is not closed, but um, working in the pull request. Then we have... 
Uh, number 35? 35 and 41 are both in a pull request right now okay. as well. Okay, great, great. And uh, let's see what, what else is missing. Well, I think it's, it's all about that. So uh, number 43 needs some uh, review by somebody. I mean, some review, some pull request. Uh, the pull request pull request for the simplifying so, of the file names yeah. for but that's something that's something that they can do if needed so i only uh, this is something that we discovered during the last meeting if you remember i can i can take care of that i'm familiar with what's causing that issue okay kevin great in that case i'm assigning it to you right thank you sounds good i don't see i don't think kevin's on this repo for some reason uh that's I tried, right i tried to assign him something earlier today and i was not able to that's right. What's what's your ID? Kevin K L U M B. K L U M B. Like clump. Yep. Right. Like okay. clump over the K. But, but yeah. doesn't work. Okay, I will check. Probably that's because you don't have permissions on the repository. I can check, and if so, I can give you that. If, uh, if the rest of you agree. I agree. Okay, uh, for now I'm just taking note that you are going to take uh, care of this, Kevin. Okay, sounds and good. And then I, I, I will be researching what's happening. I notice so we have a new participant, Elp Garcia, is the username. Hi. Yeah. Hi, I'm Alberto. Alberto, so nice to meet you. I forgot to change the, the name. Oh, it's mm -hmm. I think we've reading what's Alberto. there. I think we've seen Alberto here before. I think so too. Alberto is from Viterza too. Ah. Yeah, I, I was with you, son, in, in Oscon. Yeah, in yeah. Sony. Yeah. No, I remember meeting you now, but I just don't recognize everybody on these video things, so. Uh, no, I'm very bad at faces, so. <laughs> okay, so I think there is nothing else to do in uh, issues, except that you have any other comment or something? I have no other comments. Okay, let's move to pull request then. So, um, okay, for the value and risk, this is the, um, great. Um, I'm, I'm just looking at it. I'm looking at number 49, which is something that uh, you submitted, uh, Sin. Yeah, and because I was doing two pull requests, uh, there, I did create two commits, but there are Single pull request covers both issues 35 and 41, which okay, perfect, but that was how I was able to get it done this week. Um, okay, I, I think that's that's perfect from my point of view, so um, I'm going to review it and, and, and merge right now. Okay. I'm, I'm just having a look at it and uh, uh, just it, to find out if we are missing something, but... The focus areas might are f probably pretty straightforward. The only thing that you might want to sort of note or check if you agree with is I broke out, I created a contributing markdown document that I took a lot of the text mm -hmm. from. It takes, it takes basically from the readme, right? From the previous. Yeah, I took, it, I took it straight out of the regular, the previous readme. I did, yeah, did yeah. very little to other yeah. than create some headings. Yeah, no, that's fine and that's perfect because it's the, the, the way that people usually expect to find it. Okay, so I see I see nothing wrong in it. So I'm I'm quickly reviewing it right now. Okay. So any anyone has any comment on this pull review now that we are with it? Okay. In that case, I'm going to proceed to march it too. Not for me. Okay. Okay, abbreviation and merging. Okay, done. Good. So the the other two uh, pull requests are for uh, use cases. Well, no, you have the use case for for Kevin and uh, and the one that I opened some time ago that only needs some reviewer, which is just this rather small one. On simplifying the file names. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought names are too long. All right. Yeah, I, so if somebody can review it, that's, I already, that's I already reviewed it. I don't know. 
I must have okay. been waiting for the meeting to merge it, but it looks good. It's merged. Okay, thank you. And uh, the other one is still work in progress, and basically what needs is your comments and your review. So just a comment on this, since this is our first uh, use case, I think that we need to find a balance between um, accepting it as soon as possible so that we have at least one example, but ensuring that it meets uh, minimum quality criteria because this is going to set the rule for others that come afterwards. Yeah. So uh, the, the thing that is missing right now is the list of metrics. But I'm proposing to accept it as is without the metrics and discuss on the metrics on a further uh, pull request. And the reason is for having something as quick as possible in the repository so that we have at least one use case, even if it is not complete. And then we can discuss on the specific metrics on a separate pull request, if you agree. Yeah, I, I agree. I can, I'll do a review on this. Okay, so not, not now necessarily, Sim, whenever, no, no, yeah. whenever you no, can, but, but just uh, have it on your radar and, and everybody else, please, and comment anything you may want, because this is going to, to somehow set the rule for others that are going to come to come later. Of course, we can always do for the pull request to improve it. So it's, it's just a matter, a matter of, is it good enough for being an example for others? That's it. Okay, and I think this is all with respect to pull requests too. Any other comment or pull request or issues by anybody? I have okay. nothing else. Okay, then something which is not exactly uh, an issue, well, it is an issue, but it's a, a, a deeper discussion, is issue number uh, 44, refine code development focus area. Because this should be the discussion for starting this top-down discussion on the, the first focus area where we are working. So I opened the ticket as we agreed during the last meeting. And the idea is that now you comment on it. I'm proposing some goals and uh, maybe some questions. Sorry, some goals or only. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and some scope because I think we should to the first define the scope to know what kind of, let's say, questions, metrics, whatever fit in this, and then work with the goals. And once we are done with the goals, we should go to questions and later on metrics. So not necessarily now, if you have comments now, of course, just say, but maybe later. Yeah, I'll make a note to comment on this as well. And Alberto's camera is showing his fingers so at first I thought he was signing like using sign language to mm. <laughs> explain it to us but he's just typing maybe it's, I, I don't hear some but I don't know I don't hear him I don't hear him I just saw his fingers on the camera okay I'm just making a note of that So, uh, in short, since this is going to be our first discussion on the focus area, I just was trying to frame it first on the scope and maybe at the same time or maybe a bit later on the main goals. Mm -hmm. So, I think the important thing is that from now to the next week, you, all of you, try to uh, submit your comments, whatever, on both on the scope and the goals, so that Either we already agree on the ticket, and then we can start to amend the file talking about this, or we discuss during the meeting and we try to find a consensus. Okay? Yes. And my idea, if you agree, is once we are done with a scope and a main goals, I can open a pull request, basically amending the current file for this focus area, including that information. And from that, we move to questions and then to uh, metrics. Okay. Yes, I agree. Uh, so and that's it. This is just a, a heads up so that everybody can work on this uh, issue if, if you mm -hmm. want. I, I and uh, and I think I don't have anything else for this. Um, no, I think we've covered the agenda territory. Mm -hmm. Any other thing that any of you may want to talk about or something? Nothing to talk about explicitly. I just want to say it's great to see these use cases moving forward. Just talked about yeah. before, um, just because they're real tractable and they're going to give people something to hold on to, which is super cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope so. 
Well, another related thing that we can talk offline this is in is uh, I was proposing and, and I think that you agree yes. to present, uh, this working group and the way we are working and so in the Coscon. So uh, maybe we can discuss offline uh, draft or something. I can produce the draft as I told you if you want for the proposal. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm totally. I agree. We should propose okay. something, and I appreciate you taking the first cut at it, Jesus. Yeah, so. of course. So my, my idea, in any case, yeah, just for you to comment, is to uh, focus on the procedure and using the first use cases and the first focus areas that we have working with by February as an example. Mm -hmm. Because the, the main idea would be to show people how they can contribute, both yeah. producing use cases and uh, producing um, comments or whatever to the focus areas. So that, that, that's how I'm going to try to frame the presentation, if you agree. I agree. I, I will look at it as soon as you send it. Okay, great. You can submit it. So I, I, I send you a message then with a draft and, and we talk about it. Okay. Great. I think that's all from my side now. That is all for me as well. So any other one wants to comment something or stay shut up forever? <laughs> I will stay shut up for a week. We can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's a good point. <laughs> well, and um, actually, I should mention next week uh, I am probably not going to be able to be on this call because it's oh okay, it's not even right. Okay. Yeah, I, I won't either for sure. So it's on. Yeah, it's so as, as I proposed it for yesterday, since uh, uh, it doesn't make sense to have this meeting with yeah. just half the people. We can skip this one and go to the next one if you want. Yeah. We can work on the pull records and issues anyway. That yep. works for me. If the, okay. Yep. More then, works. Then we can send with the minutes of this meeting. We can send a message saying that the next meeting is going to be in fifteen days, not uh, not the next week. Yes. Okay. Uh, Kevin, are you going to produce uh, minutes for the meeting? I am taking notes, and I will produce the meetings. I should have that uh, posted Great. tomorrow. So in that case, if you submit a pull request with them, including the pull request, the, the, the date for the next meeting and this notice, and, and, and we can review and accept it as soon as possible, and then we can send a message. At the same time that we inform the people about the meeting minutes, we inform them about the, okay. there is no I've meeting. Been, uh, once the pull request goes through, I've been uh, sending a, what's that? Have I been? Did I, uh, no. I think I sent, I sent a message out to the uh, list saying that the notes and the videos were available. So I okay, can, uh, right. when I do that, I'll also include the, uh, the next meeting info. Okay, thank you very much, Kevin. Yeah. Okay, we are done then, I think. I think so too. All right, everybody. All right, so, talk to you all later. Bye, thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you.